And I'm thinking it's cute. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me in here, are you? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's some. It's some. It's some. Now up in your house. Can you use some words towards you? That'll make a dark skinned person like me blush. And we think it's cute. That's cursing. That's cussing. But God don't cuss. God curse. And maybe that's where we're heading to brothers and sisters. Maybe God is cursing us. These folks realized just how good God had been to them. Uh Yeah. And they found out that God could do some things against them that no man could fix. (laughs) Yes. And what he did, what he could do was he could curse them. I know you're waiting on me to tell the Reverend, what is that? Well, cursing is the word means hemmed in with obstacles. Maybe because we're not progressing in our personal lives the way we ought to be progressing is because God is a cursing us. And maybe you're wondering why, uh, yeah, you can't seem to make end meet at time. It's because God is uh, cursing you. Preach Reverend John. Uh, maybe it is uh, that you can't seem to get yourself together. Uh, it's because uh, God is uh, cursing you. You ever seem as if, uh, yeah, everything you put your hands on uh, don't work out. Uh, It's because uh, God is uh, cursing you. Maybe it seems that you can't get promoted on that job and you know that your promotion time is present. It's because God got you hemmed in with obstacles. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me here. Maybe because you can't keep money if that's your thing in your pocket or in your bank account is because when you had it you didn't keep your end of the covenant and you've done it so long and God let you slide and now he's him you in with obstacles help me to preach it Reverend Jonah maybe it is I mean that you can't seem to get it all together maybe it's raining on your house and not raining on nobody else's house it's because God has a him you in I wish I had a witness in here Maybe that you can't get your children to get them together is because God has a him you in. Y'all are gonna say that now, yeah. Maybe it is I mean that is raggedy in your life is because God has a him you in. I'm through here now. Good morning, St. James. But I need to tell you when you come to seriousness uh, with God. Uh, He does not play uh, not with you or me. Uh, He is a God um, uh, who's serious all the time. Uh, Good evening, St. James. Uh, But one thing I know, uh, if you uh, me would just keep your in, God will uh, hold up his in. Uh, Is there a witness in here? Uh, We will uh, do some things for for you uh, that nobody else could do. Uh, he will, uh, I'm like David in here, lead you uh, beside still waters. Uh, is there a witness in here? Uh, he will uh, lead you into green pastures. I, I know he will. Uh, and all he wants you to do is uh, honor 
him. I'm through St. James. I didn't think I could get this place. But one more thing I want to share with you in here. It's ears in this text. It will, it will bring participation. Yeah. How do you participate then, Reverend? Look at the people here now. They stood there in worship. You ought to read chapter 9. It's there. Yeah. After they had built the wall, you know what happened? This for some of you who said that ain't right. They gathered all the folk and they stood and they walked out in the courtyard. And you know what they did? The folk did not have chairs. They did not have pews. They did not have love seats. Not that they have couches. The Bible says they stood there one fourth of the day reading the statue. It's in your, let's read it. And then the other part of the day, they stood there worshiping God. And the other part of the day, they stood there praising God. All day long, they stood there in the worship presence of God. And let me just say you here, I know what it looks like. Six hours, they had a worship experience. Six hours, they gave it all to God. Six hours, they heard the word. Six hours, they repeated the word. Six hours, yeah, they repented of the word. Six hours, they praised God. I know what you're thinking. I'll be darned if I'm going to be in church. Six hours hours. That's too much to ask of me. But I want to ask you a question. How good has God been to you? How long do we bless you? How long do we sustain his blessing? How far has he brought you? Through what has he done for you? Some of us in here can't stay 45 minutes and stay still expect God to, to do some great things in their life. I'm through here. But this is how you participate. You ought to praise him for what he done for you. Can't you see it now? Nowhere to sit. Everywhere to stand. And look at you, St. James. God has been good to you. Yes, he gave you some sitting places. But still, he ought to be worthy of your praise if he's been good to you thank you Lord if he's made a way for you if he's opened doors for you if he's made your enemy behave if he brought you over some hills if he's brought you over some mountains if he's made trouble leave you alone if he made your enemy your footstool if he's delivered you from sickness if he's delivered you from depths of despair you will not be ashamed up in here to praise his name I hear you talking Lord y'all gonna make me lose my mind God has been good to me is there anybody here he's been good to you you ought not be ashamed to praise his name say yes say yes yeah I know you're sophisticated. I know you're looking good to yourself. I know it's out of your character to even stand where you are and praise God's name. I know, I know you don't want folk to see you, but I'm going to tell you this. If God has been that good to you, you ought to tell the people, excuse me, I'm going to get out of little character here. I'm going to stand right now and tell somebody, say yes. Yeah!